Ah, Jerome Corsi saw that shit on Fox News. Holy shit, fucking. Jerome Corsi busting out. Oh, fucking. Oh, my God. I'm Tucker Carlson. You saw that shit last night. So, Jerome Corsi, the, the pioneer of free speech of our time, busting out of his diaper on fucking. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I, no, Jerome Corsi is, uh, gave a, uh, is holding his ground, balls of steel, fucking grabbing his balls and say, hey, it's my fucking balls, Mueller. I got balls. Oh, God. I'm going to play the clip. You're going to love it. It's nice. It's very professional. It's very, 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 very much the character and the persona that we expect from the good Jerome Corsi. But first, let's have a reading. See if you can figure out where I'm reading from. Now I will tell you the answer to my question. It's this. The party seeks power entirely for its own sake. We are not interested in the good of others. We are interested solely in power. Pure power. What pure power means you will understand presently. We are different from the oligarchies of the past and that we know what we are doing. All the others, even those who resembled ourselves, were cowards and hypocrites. The German Nazi and the Russian communists came very close to us in their methods, but they never had the courage to recognize their own motives. They pretended, perhaps they even believed, that they had seized power unwillingly and for a limited time, and that just around the corner they lay a paradise where human beings would be free and equal. We are not like that. We, now, we know that no one seizes power with the intention of relinquishing it. Power is not a means. It is an end. One does not establish a dictatorship in order to safeguard a revolution. One makes the revolution in order to establish the dictatorship. The object of prosecution is prosecution. The object of torture is torture. The object of power is power. Now you begin to understand me. It's fucking 1984. That's George Orwell speaking from the grave. Right? Flipping in his grave. Now let's watch this. Corsi, though, has not backed down. Instead, today he filed a criminal complaint against Robert Mueller. He alleges gross misconduct by the special prosecutor's office. Jerome Corsi joins us tonight to explain. Mr. Corsi, thank you very much for coming on. Well, now, pleasure. when last we spoke, my understanding was from a previous conversation that you had made a mistake. You say you forgot the date of an email that you forwarded and that you went and told the special prosecutor's office that you made that mistake and they allowed you to amend your testimony. They allowed it. But then at a later time, when you didn't say what they wanted you to say, they came back and threatened to prosecute you for lying in the first iteration of your testimony. Is that correct? Yes. I, actually, I had not seen my 2016 emails. I hadn't reloaded them the first day of testimony. I'd forgotten about two emails. Uh, when I finally loaded the time machine, I realized these emails were there. The special prosecutor allowed me to amend the testimony about... 10 days right. later and then in the one count they wanted to plead guilty to they want to charge me with knowingly and willfully giving false information on the original day's mistake not taking into account that they had allowed me the special cross prosecutor to amend the testimony which i thought was completely fraudulent well it's certainly odd and I, most lawyers we've spoken to have never heard of something like that what was the point why were they pressing you on that why do you think they're threatening you with perjury well, from day one, I mean, they, they blew up. They said they're going to have enough to throw me in prison because I forgot these emails. And I, I'm, I'm convinced it was all a strategy. I mean, I went in to cooperate. I gave my computers. I gave my time machine. I gave, handed over voluntarily my emails, uh, my Twitter account, etc. everything they wanted. Big balls. And now the first day, you know, it's a memory test, and I don't get the memory test right, and suddenly I'm going to be thrown in prison for the rest of my life. It's an intimidation tactic. And I'm quite convinced it's intentional. Intimidating you to get you to do what? What did they want you to do that you refused to do? Uh, the key thing was that they wanted me to be the key link between it was going to be me, Roger Stone, to me, to Julian Assange. 
and then they'd have all their collusion together. It would be Roger Stone to Steve Bannon to Donald Trump and coordination with Assange. Except I, I figured out on my own, on my, we'd had 25th wedding anniversary trip to Italy. On that flight, I, I calculated and figured out it was Assange had Podesta's emails. I'd never have met Assange. I've never talked to Assange or emailed him. And I have no contact with anyone who is in touch with Assange. There's no way, there's no way, right, based on what we know of the good Jerome Corsi, that Jerome Corsi is lying. There's just no, there's no way. It's not in his character. He's a, he's a nice guy, a, a, a Roger Stone, that's another fucking story. But when you look at this testimony, there is no, he is telling the fucking truth, right? And he's holding to the truth. He's not moving. Love this shit. Let's listen to it. And the prosecutors refused to believe this. So it led to grilling after grilling after grilling. Uh, constantly, I have an eight inch thick book with my name on it. And Mr. Zelensky, the, one of the prosecutors, won't tell me if that's all about me. Won't tell me how many books like that he's got. And they're asking me questions and then pulling files out and say, but this email contradicts it. Well, I didn't, don't remember that email. I don't remember in detail any of my emails. I had 60,000 right. emails in my computer from 2016. It's totally, and, and, and that's kind of the point, is that they had your emails. So if you had contact with Julian Assange, they would already know it. So this, this right. is obviously a grotesque charade. So I, I don't know the standing of your criminal complaint, uh, but on, in principle, obviously, I'm uh, rooting for you. Jerome Corsi, thank you very much. That's Jerome Corsi, man. Fucking, st hey, that's. <clears throat> hey, listen, that's balls of steel right there. You gotta, you gotta look. You don't have to agree with Jerome Corsi and his uh, his view on the world, or, but damn, he's getting prosecuted, man. This is. Look at what I read from eighty four, nineteen eighty four, and look at what's happening. Right, it's the thought police. It's it's tyranny coming in, confusing the issue. Prosecuting for what? He spoke to somebody, a publisher, about emails? See, it's, again, it's just, I mean, we're, we're living in a bad time. This is 1984, and people got to fucking stand up, man. You got to stop this fucking shh, political correctness, wait, oh, the, someone's going to come in and fucking solve the day, and... You know, all oh, this fucking, this sh trust this one and trust that one. Fuck you, man. You can't let that shit happen, man. Jerome Corsi's uh, <clears throat> holding his ground. He's a hero. But <clears throat> don't underestimate the power and the, the, uh, the viciousness of the people that we're talking about, a, a Mueller's team, they're not going to retreat. They, you think that they give a shit that, that Jerome Corsi's on Fox News telling the truth? They don't care. They don't give a shit. They're going to continue to prosecute and push as a good tyranny will. Right? That's what this is about. Right? Mueller has got, got congressional authority to, to establish and advance the oligarchies work. Now, again, it comes down, I've been saying it all along, but we're going to wait. We're going to wait for Q to solve the problems. We're going to, we're going to wait for the next fake election to come along and, and we're going to, we're going to vote in people that have integrity and, and we're going to, we're going to lock up all of the, the deep state spooks that are running around doing the dirty work. Right? But we're going to let the bankers go. We're going to, that, cause that's not the problem. See, banking is good. Right? No, 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 no. That's capitalism. No, no, no. You're talking about the banks and and the economy. No, then you're a socialist. You're a, you're a communist. You're a you're a Marxist. You're a evangelist. You're a, I kind of don't know what you are. Right? You're a fucking idiot. Right? To even say start, start saying shit like that. What you are is you're you're an awake individual knowing who to point the fucking finger at. Right? And the finger in this case is always the oligarchy. It's always the the power players that are paying jerk offs like. Robert Mueller to run guys over like Corsi. Why? <clears throat> because Corsi has his finger on the the uh, he's the Rush Limbaugh of the internet, right? And he's a good guy. I mean, I've seen his stuff. He he totally totally investigates things. He 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 does 
He does some grasping, but we all do some grasping. We're all guilty of a little grasping here and there. But Jerome Corsi is 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 a is not even close to an Alex Jones or his buddy Roger Stone. Right? He's just a simple guy, smart guy, educated. He he dives, takes deep dives. He dove into the Seth Rich issue. Got it. You got to you got to support his his right to speech his right to freedom of the press right because there are no crimes here there's no crimes see there's no crimes with his even if he did speak to Assange or and which he did not because Assange was speaking directly to the people right but you see what they're doing you see what Mueller's doing they put you in a room they question you for 40 hours they ask you for all kinds of shit right and Jerome Corsi, in this case, actually volunteered the shit, right? And then they confused the issue. So, oh, there you lied. That, that, oh, you lied. Off to the, off to the, 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 the clinker. Off to jail, right? Right? Because they're doing. They're accusing the other people of exactly what they did, which is, you know, the the email debacle, the 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 uh, cheating, right? That's what they're trying to say that Jerome Corsi was doing. He was funneling information out to the Russians. <laughs> it's, fucking, it's, so, it's such a stupid story. So, Jerome Corsi, balls of steel. We're with you. We support you. My brother. My brother. I don't know what the, the right wing, the new right wing fucking... <laughs> you guys got a you guys you guys got a new hand signal? Fucking what what kind of hand signal are you throwing out there? You the ducky? You the rubber ducky? <laughs> fucking... <laughs> My name is Marcus Conti reporting.